So Grant just explained to me that I didn't actually sum up how this works. And it's because you aren't thinking three-dimensionally. It's like, um, you know, the at the local fair I always went to year after year, there'd be these like clear polymer, crystal, or glass um, like squares of however big. And then laser etched into them is like actual like a detailed 3d image sometimes with like color into the glass or whatever so like refracts different ways when you look what i'm saying is there's some that's you know not that advanced anymore that's been around since the 80s so anyways it's so cheap now that these playing cards you know the top section where the actual <laughs> picture of the monster is <laughs> is a clear polymer area that like has the monster displayed there just you know for the cursory glance you know in like rippling you know polymer um you know 3d hologram or whatever that meets the eye different ways but it's actually clear underneath that and when it's lit up when you slide it in upside down into your goggle piece the actual whole playing card is inserted in and then it's you know just thick enough that like a game and watch, all those, you know, possible character combinations of movements are etched at different layers of 3D depth into oh, the actual playing card surface clear. Yeah. So then, you know, it can flash as energies lit up through the, to different parts of the creature moving in different stuff in the card area. Then it gives you a perspective between the two eyes that they're fighting, you know. I, I guess you understand now. Yeah. Yeah. My thoughts were just that you were trying to implement a device that would make it to where you, with the game, with like a dithering frequency, you could... um view certain aspects of the game as more 3d like this dolphin poster when you walk back and forth but like you move your head because it's got <laughs> it's got those plastic rumples you know that that make but that's what i'm game, saying you know, yes that's what i was talking about what i'm saying is tracked by the um actual game in connection to the headset so that you're actually, like you're saying, get enhanced dolphin poster effect. Like up close, the character models in the plastic do different moves and have energy flash as it does it. Then on screen in 3D, it's also providing the background and other additional stuff on your living room screen. And it's all tracked by that you're wearing your headset and the screen knows where you are versus, you know, in the room. I yeah, don't know. But would the screen, your TV screen, really be tracking you? You think it'd be more the sensor bar, right? Well, I didn't mean the screen. Yeah, I meant the actual, however you implement it. I already talked yeah. about how it works in the Wii. People get the idea. I I didn't speak just right. Yeah, but everybody's nailed down now. They all got the idea down, I hope. I'm saying, because yeah. if, if you don't say that, yeah. then you're extra fucking stupid. But my point is just, it creates a really crappy 3D effect that you can see no matter what. Just saying. You yeah. Know, you have the correct frequency yeah. within the image you're displaying on a regular progressive screen, and it, it can do it, you know? Yeah. I mean, you can fit so many, like, moveset movements around, you know, in what I'm talking about, a polymer 3D card area like that, and then project light energy in different ways to make it, you know, light up and move all cool. Yeah, I'm just thinking about how you could have really crappy 3D, no matter what. Yes, on always. Any, any game, you yeah. can have things staying out from the environment in different ways. Yeah, so for any game, these goggles are a necessity where it could shoot data in and project it like Google Glasses, you know, that came out in 2012, but then vanished again, you know, nobody said they ever existed. So we got to wait a few more years for uh, those that come out again in connection to this idea I just came up with. So it can circle around in time and I can not buy it then because it's supposedly so expensive and useless because they say so. Even as stores back then were implementing 
full usage of them so you could see labels right off the shelves projected with Google Glasses with ingredients and stuff with voice commands and all of it was worked out but nobody gives a fuck because they don't give a shit about the fucking future so why don't you fucking grow up and fucking fix your fucking hearts and brains so you can fucking watch 40x with screen x this is called 5dx maybe we can add in some fucking dildo features for 60x and then we can really get some fucking action going on so then you can all fucking grow the fuck up what do you say